always a pleasure to take you on this walk weekly. Welcome to another time out on the Arts Express. My name is Tolokwe Lamidi, your host. First Turn Gallery, Affinity Gallery is pleased to present Finesse, a group exhibition featuring three emerging artists from Nigeria and South Africa. Let's take a look. Daniel Pengafa Oshindaro, a Nigerian artist, Muofe Manabela, she's a South African artist, and Valerie Etitinu, she's a Nigerian artist based in Switzerland. And finesse, if you know the definition of the word finesse, it's about like skill. And um, so basically, it's, it's a nod to the skill of these three artists, and they're one of the best in doing what they do. Um, so this um, exhibition is an ode to these artists and their skill and their the intense and the level of detailing and um, and level of detailing that goes into the work that they create basically. Valerie's work, the work that you reference, are all about like the human emotion and how there's nothing new under the sun, which is why you can see like kind of like the solar system and how it works, things that look like the sun, and how human emotions, like we go through cycles. Um, everyone who's feeling sad or angry or happy now, those emotions have been in existence for decades, centuries, and they come and go. But what is important is the relationships that we are able to establish because those relationships ground us and help us to process those emotions. So whether it's happiness or sadness or loneliness, having people around to kind of connect with, they help you to process those emotions. Finesse, an exhibition of works featuring Daniel Pengrafa Oshundaru, Morfe Manavela, and Valerie Etintiwo shows the works of artists coming into their own in terms of the incredible skill and impressive detail that forms their artistic practice and process. From the conceptualization of their works to the execution, up until they are hung on the walls, these artists and the attention to every brushstroke is a testament that not only to the success of their work, but also to their budding careers. Daniel's work is all about kind of um, combining like classical imagery, like the like said Manet and the, the, the Caravaggio's and all that. And those bodies of work then were very influ heavily influenced by religion. You know, the Raphael's, they did the Sistine Chapels and all that. So those bodies of work, what we call classical art, is very heavily influenced, influenced by religious um, connotations and ideas. So him kind of bringing those into his works and adding a more contemporary element, then I can see why you would say, yes, they have like those religious elements. It's because of his influence from like classical art. So yes, I would say that. Also in the gallery, the Lagos Amberg Project, an artist in residency program, presents Circle of Arts, a group exhibition featuring art workshops by 10 African artists. Let's take a look.
echo of hope it depicts my early beginning, how I, I was raised. Looking at this in the complete uh, village setting. Now the, the village looks calm, it looks quiet. And now there is this fabric by my left called Isiago. Isiago means the head of a tiger. Isiago is, is a fabric I am known with. Who I am, my tribe. Up for that in him, maybe when he steps out, things begin to happen. And this group of people are called the Igbos. These Igbos are in a country called Nigeria. And Nigeria is in collaboration with the Germans. So when you see within this artwork, you see a man walking out, I use this very uh, this man to depict myself, believing that when I come back with the existence of the Germans, things will begin to work well for my community and for me. This work uh, talks about the way we are. It shows about the strength, the grace, and uh, the belief of the people, of the African people. So I'm trying to, you know, to express um, the strength. When you look at the eyes, look at the eyes here. You see strength in the eyes. You see resilience. You see grace. We make something out of nothing. We, the Africans, we are very strong people. So I'm trying to portray that because no one can tell our story better than we are, than we. The people. I'm inspired by it, by the people. I'm inspired by our culture. I'm inspired by uh, the way we live, the way we survive. No matter how hard it is, we the Africans we survive, especially the Nigerians. So I, I try to you know to showcase how we are, the way we are, and the way we see ourselves as Africans. The peace act, um, the peace uprise actually talks about me as the African young people, and I'm trying to say here that the black African man should break out from his chains of illusion and and live his life for humanity. Um, I just normally say it's break out from the chains of illusion and face the wealth of your being. Yeah. So this piece is actually a piece that actually structures, it structures to say that what we, what we mention as wealth, what we mention as wealth is not what actually wealth is. Wealth actually is you and I, wealth is the people around you, wealth is the, the environment where you live in. By the time we channel most of the illusions that we harbor as wealth into uh, taking care of our environment and humanity, we realize that um, the world will be a better place, especially here in Africa. The artworks in display explores a particular ability to describe and convey a sense of revolution and as creativity creates connections. The title of this work is more than a thousand words. More than a thousand words. So you can, looking at it, you see profiles of women, like here you see women's criminals, then you see an hashtag me too. Then you see a man trying to beat a woman, you see something like a rape thing going on here, and then a bulge eyes showing fear. And then you see a child crying a victim. And then then there's a woman bold in the middle trying to advocate for this person. So there, there, is this, there is this movement called SGBB, Federal Gender Spouse Against Women. So through my art, I try to advocate for women who are passing through violence from men or from anybody. So I, I try to say, we believe you, we hear your voice, we know you. This work is like in our in our dialogue. Is, uh, I use um, acrylic and uh, fabric. That's the African print fabric on canvas. So it's more like uh, a personal piece to me. That situations that when I uh, when I uh, like faced with uh, taking a decision, I sometimes go to be around my own space, like um, being in my own zone and meditating on the new steps I want to take. So this inner dialogue is more like meditation and then replanning and then you know thinking of how to boost self-esteem. So. 
can see like the whole broken pieces, like the whole broken lines. It's more like all the experience you get from life and then it comes together to make up for all that. So that's what I'm just talking about, about being in your own space and you know, just having dialogue with yourself. We are here today to use art to build cultural bridges, to break cultural boundaries. Um, Nigerian art is here in Germany, in Nigeria, yes, but internationally not yet. So this is what I am here with Bridget, Bridget Selly from Germany to create a platform where our artworks will be appreciated internationally. Art World Foundation presents two art competitions for the year 2023. The Lagos State Secondary School Art Competition and National Undergraduate Art Competition as part of its initiative in promoting African art and artists. Themed, Paint Your Aspired Lagos for Secondary Level and Paint Your Aspired Nation for the Undergraduate Level. My name is Ola Shade Habiola. I'm Creative Director of Art for Bali Art World Africa. We have come up with varieties of initiatives and there are two peculiar initiatives that we have come up that we are launching in the year 2023 and we are about to launch Lagos State Art Competition. The Lagos State Art Competition is tagged at Discovery 2023 but the team is Paint Your Aspired Lagos. And we have the National Undergraduate Art Competition, which is themed Paint Your Aspired Nation. We are very deliberate to have come up with these two topics, uh, two, these two teams at this time. Uh, we are expecting a new time of leadership. And it's very important that the youth are involved. So this platform is, um, is creating youth uh, inclusive in, in the, our community development planning, in our nation building planning and political dialogue. A lot of youths have complained that they have not been part of this conversation. So this platform is creating an LD platform for youth to communicate their aspire states, their aspire nation to their leadership. And one thing that is very peculiar about this competition, that all the conversation that goes on on this competition will be documented and presented to the incumbent governor and president of this country. And what is peculiar about this competition, all this dialogue we will be written in prose, documented, and at the same time, it's going to be presented in visual art. So there are a lot of forms of visual art that the secondary school students and the undergraduate art competition are going to deploy in expressing themselves, in, the, in expressing their aspired nation, their aspired Lagos. I'm very, very happy. Well, I won't say I'm surprised because uh, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. 
uh, I've invested so much in art, even before getting here. I just trust God that one day everything will turn out fine. So I'm happy that I won the competition, but I'm not surprised. My name is um, Lamina Nelo Okwa Cynthia. I'm dressed as, um, as a scarlet. So, why I love anime? Okay, I love anime because um, it gives me the opportunity to express myself the way I am. I love anime because when um, some people were younger, we were not opportunity to actually like get. So, um, we tend to like watch cartoons. Like people tell us we watch cartoons. So, um, it's our way like, Making it this big is a way of like expressing ourselves, that like letting the world know that okay, um, anime is not is not for kids, it's not cartoon. It is something that you should embrace. It is actually um, fun. It is for children, adults, everybody out there. So we're trying to let everybody know that anime is actually very very good. I am dressed as Nene Yashiro from Taliban Hanako Khan. Um, I'm, anime in general is a huge franchise that a lot of people in the world um, watch and support. In Nigeria, it is um, surprisingly supportive and the anime has a lot of genres, which some people like some of them and other people will like others but we still but the community will still find a way to come together and to join and to be in places like this just to talk and to um, talk about your likings of the cartoons. Um, I'm dressed as Nini from Todoban Hanakokan. She is a high schooler who meets this ghost inside the girls lavatory and they suddenly become friends and go through all these adventures together in different dimensions. Eko Anime Festival is a one-day festival catering to weebs, otakus and appreciators of Japanese animation and culture. This festival features a myriad of activities and topics designed to bring anime culture with Africans who appreciate them. My name is Shono Oferomi. I'm cosplaying Umi Sonoda from Love Live and it's been quite a good cosplay because I haven't really seen anybody on it and I think it's kind of unique. And um, about the anime community, a lot of people think anime is cartoon but it is not cartoon. It is not actually for children, it is for, um, it is for adults. Yeah, and there are a lot of animes that adults watch that children must not watch. Yeah, so. And there are also um, some kind of coincidence, like if, if you join an anime community and you're a cosplayer, you, you're considered like a star and you're like, and everybody's like hyped that, oh my god, she watches anime and all this thing, especially if you're a girl. And lastly, anime is very, very cool and I don't recommend it for children like everybody does. My name is Samuel Adjo Moses and I'm cosplaying Vastolode Ichigo from Bleach. 
My favorite anime is actually Fairy too, but I wasn't able to make the flame to her. So I decided I have a lot of fireworks. Why not go as Ichigo? So then I made the horn and I came here. If I had to describe Bleach, it's definitely watchable for all ages, but it does have some mature themes later on in the series. But I would still recommend it for anyone that can well watch anime because it really is a classic. <laughs>My name is Mikey. I'm just as Mikey from Tokyo Avengers. Anime was something that really got me through tough, th tough times in my life. I'm really grateful to you, Donnie, and especially to Mikey, because the character I really look up to is strong, brave, everything I wish I could be, and everything I tr I'm trying to be. But this is basically the, uh, Mikey's uniform from the anime Tokyo Avengers. You can see everything. Pretty cool. Yeah. I'm cosplaying Raiden Shogun from Genshin. So uh, I came out today to show my outfits from Genshin Impact. It's a game, it's an anime game, and uh, I'm portraying the character today. This is what she wears, this is her standard outfit in the game. So. My name is Favor Kami. Um, I love anime, as you can see. Um, my, my favorite anime. My favorite anime is One Piece. One Piece. Uh, this Inosuke, I consider as Inosuke. Female Inosuke. Yeah, um, at Echo Fest. It's always a delight to bring you all forms of art. Now it's very relaxing to be creative, so find your expression. And that's our package on today's episode. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.